Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. Today what we're going to be going over is the Black Friday sale for 2022. So this is the biggest sale of the year for the Unreal Engine Marketplace where you can save up to 70% on over 15,000 different products from now until November 30th. So November 30th is next Wednesday. So you've got a little while for this one as well and again you can save a lot on a lot of different products. So I'm going to be covering the top 10 that I've seen today. Obviously there's thousands more than this as well and if you do have any other recommendations do leave them in the comments down below. Again I'm just going to be covering my top 10 so without further ado let's get right into it starting with the sci-fi vertical railway station environment. So this extra detailed vertical railway station environment is perfect for your game or movie. The assets in this station have been manufactured to their latest quality standards and have passed quality control. These assets are great for dynamic lighting and ray tracing technology as well and the station is also completely modular and can be rebuilt according to your wishes. So obviously in the video on screen now you can see how the station looks in this certain format but you can also make it look however you want as well. So this is a very high quality asset pack and it also uses fully dynamic lighting so you're probably going to have a fairly good PC to be able to run this. But some of the features of this are it has 4K textures, it's extra detailed and it's also optimised. So as I was saying you're going to need a fairly high PC, it is also optimised though. It also has modularity as I was saying, dynamic lighting and it's incredibly easy to use. In total there's 129 unique meshes, all with automatically generated collision and a vertex count ranging from 50,000 to 200,000. These also do all have LODs. On top of that, there's 213 materials and material instances with 595 textures, once again with the text resolutions of 4K. So I think this one looks absolutely amazing, it's a very unique thing which I've not seen before and I think it looks really cool and you could really utilise it well in your games. It's more of a kind of futuristic, or obviously if they've said sci-fi, railway station environment, so you can use it however you want. And this one is 50% off. And next up we have the fighting camera manager and this is 70% off. And the fighting camera manager is a component for a porn camera that follows characters with a lot of different customizable settings for you to use. So some features of what this product has is it has a 2D or 2.5D mode where this mode has a setting where players move in one line left to right. It also has a 3D mode where players can move around the level completely freely. It has a zoom in and zoom max so how close or how far the camera is going to be from the player. It's also got auto zoom so the camera will actually automatically adjust the zoom to fit both characters on screen at the same time. A height offset, an offset angle yaw, angle pitch, smooth camera rotation so it's not just going to be snapping, max distance P2P so max distance player to player meaning there's a maximum distance between the players so they can't go too far apart from each other. An offset side distance so the distance between the players and the edge of the screen and two dispatches to block the movement of players off screen in the given parameters as well. So basically you think of a 2D, not even 2D but a fighting game, the camera that you typically see in that is what this camera manager is in this asset pack here which I think is absolutely amazing. So this product is great for those who want to make a fighting game as it has lots of different settings and it's incredibly easy to integrate. It also has full network support and local multiplayer on one keyboard or gamepad as well. So on top of all of that, the character also has logic to demonstrate how the component works, so as you can see in the video now. There's also logic of combo attacks, so there's two attacks with hands and two attacks with legs and dodges. There's logic to apply damage with hit reaction. There's a game mode also has logic to demonstrate how the component works in different modes and there's also animation only demonstrations. So essentially you have a very small mini miniature version of a fighting game in this just to really show off for how it works. So there's three blueprints in this, one component, default animations for the demo, so just the mannequin, and it is network replicated. So once again, I think this one looks absolutely amazing. It looks very, very efficient and, and very good and just perfect for what it is. So it's a fighting camera manager. If that's what you want, you want to make a fighting game, this is definitely a must have. Now we have the drivable off-roads volume one, which is 30% off. So this is the best off-road vehicles for your projects. So there's not a lot to say or showcase for this one. Essentially it is just six different vehicles that you can use in your games and you can drive them about as well and all of the doors and compartments on these open up too so they're fully interactable which is absolutely amazing. So all the vehicles are drivable and multifunctional as a door open and close, turning on and off lights, flashlights and real world physics. 
there are six unique vehicles with interiors and chassis as well. And it says as well, all the assets were created for realistic AAA games. So some technical details of this are it is to a real world scale, it does have collision, it does have PBR textures, it is drivable, and there's no LODs. And on here as well, it also has the vertex count for all of these as well. I'm not going to go over those because it's quite a lot, but they are on the Marketplace page if you do want to see them. There's six unique meshes with 127 textures and five materials and eight different blueprint classes and the texture resolution is 4K. So it's very high quality vehicles here and again as you'll be able to see in the video you can open up all the different compartments for you to be able to use it in your game. So the firefighter one as well is perfect. If you want to maybe make a firefighting game this would be a perfect asset because again you can open everything you need to open. You can turn the lights on and off on top as well and obviously you'll be able to drive the car. Next up we have the big hatchet mountain which is also 70% off and this is over 900 square kilometers. So the big hatchet mountain is a landscape based on lidar data and it includes two maps, a 64 square kilometer one vertex per meter and a 900 square kilometer one vertex per four meters. So some notes on this are there is no nanite support for foliage and landscapes in Unreal 5. I imagine they probably made it in Unreal Engine 4 and then ported it over to 5. And the video on screen now is showcasing the smaller map, so the 64 square kilometer map. And also the characters in this are not included either. So the characters in the video, I should say, are not included in the asset pack. Some features of this are it's over 900 square kilometers. It has powerful material instance parameters, a height map based layer blending, and custom plug and play functions. It also has landscape paint layers, unified wind shader, background mesh, and cloud shadows as well. So it has PBR textures, and it does have LODs where needed. Texture sizes go all the way up to 8K, so very high quality. And it says the supported development platform and targeted build platform is Windows. I imagine it will work on Mac and other platforms as well, but Windows is the one they've tested it on. There's 12 materials, 21 material instances, 32 material functions, 38 textures, and 39 meshes. So once again, not a lot to say on this one. It's more just something you can look at. It looks amazing and this is something absolutely fantastic to use within your games or any project you're making. Next up we have the dust and sandstorm effects which is 50% off. So this is dust, smoke and sandstorm effects. This allows you to have access to a large variety of smoke and dust effects from the massive storm and tornadoes to dust and smoke. And besides the smoke and dust effects it also has sand effects too. So all of the effects come with their own parameters, so you can just drag your effect to your world and start to customize it as well. So it'll be completely different for everyone and you can make it very unique and very dynamic too. As well as this, over 90% of the effects also support slow motion. So if you wanted to have a slow motion mechanic in your game, or maybe if you want to just slow it down so it's not in slow motion, it's just at a slower speed than default, you can do that. So this is easy to use, it's customizable, high quality, and it has a strong variety as well. So the type of emitters are CPU and GPU. The number of Niagara system effects is 85. The number of module scripts is five. Number of master materials is 14. Material instances is 68. And number of blueprints is 13. And this product does also support Lumen for Unreal Engine 5 and above as well. So these look like some very, very high quality VFX which you can use in your game, whether you use the big sandstorms like the big tornadoes or even just the smaller sand and dust particles as well for some ambience in your game. Those would look amazing too. But I think this looks great. Next up we have Worm. Now this is a character with animations as well. So this asset contains the boss worm, the enemy lava and VFX. So this worm is obviously rigged but it's not rigged to the epic skeleton but it is animated and it has a control rig too. So in total there's 14 animations, the boss worm has 9 and those are enter, idle, 3 attacks, an exit, movement, hit and death. And the enemy lava has 5 animations, those being idle, walk, attack, hit and death. Both characters also have 4 LODs on them as well. The animation types are in place, there's 2 characters, 9 materials and 11 textures with a text resolution being 4K. So very high quality assets and they look amazing as well. There's not a lot to say on this, but again, the animations look very, very fluid, very nice. And the character design itself is again, very high quality. And it doesn't say what the VFX are that it includes, but it does have some. I imagine it might just be kind of like dust or sand or dirt moving 
when it enters and exits through the ground. But this looks fantastic. Now we have the Interaction System Starter Pack, which is 70% off. And this Interaction System Starter Pack is an advanced interaction system that saves you countless hours of programming. This allows you to start focusing your time on programming gameplay built off of the backbone of this advanced system. So this features buttons, pressure plates, input item slots, multiple types of doors, i.e. regular door, sliding, and double sliding. It's got physics-based items, breakable items, mineable and interactable foliage, i.e. tree and rocks. It has guns, pickaxes, and synced inputs. There's 33 blueprints, and the input is keyboard and mouse, but other inputs can easily be added as well. And for network replicated, it says not at the moment, which implies that it will be in the future, but obviously at the moment it's not network replicated, so that's something to keep in mind as well. So there's not a lot written about this on the marketplace page, it's just more the video showcases it off very well of all the different things you can do, but this is a great interaction system. It allows you to do everything that you need to do and more as well, so this is basic in the sense that it will be easy to use, but advanced in the sense that it does a lot of stuff which you want. I think this looks absolutely fantastic, you can really use this as the starting fundamental and the foundations of your game. And using this you can also create some easy puzzles, like they do in Portal where you need to get a cube, put it on the pressure plate to open a door, anything along those lines you can easily do with this. Now we have the giant boss pack, which is 50% off. So this is a basic giant boss animation pack that includes locomotion, attacking, getting damaged and death animations. It's a basic boss AI and a character blueprint for giant is also included. So it's a basic giant boss animation pack that includes three idle animations, one walk, one run, two animations for turning right and left, 19 attack animations, three getting damaged animations and one death animation, which also includes one pose for a death idol. Like I said before, it also has basic AI and a character blueprint for the giant boss as well, so you can see these animations working in game. So in total, it features one giant AI, 28 animations, and a character blueprint for the giant. This is rigged, and it is rigged to the epic skeleton, however, IK bones are not included in this rig. There's 28 animations, all of which are root motion. So I've said this for quite a few of the past ones, but there's not a lot to say about this on the Marketplace page itself. This one is pretty self-explanatory. It's an animation pack with the different animations which I've just listed. Now this is obviously for a giant boss, but it doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be giant and it doesn't have to be a boss. You can just use these animations if you wanted, but that is obviously what they're intended for and intended to do. Next up is Recoil Pattern. This is 50% off. So with this plugin and the custom editor, you can create any recoil patterns and fine tune weapon behavior. And this one I think looks absolutely amazing. So recoil pattern is a solution based on systems used in most AAA shooters to provide an incredible and responsive shooting experience for users on consoles, PCs, and mobile devices. This plugin provides many options for customizing the recoil of weapons. With a new asset type and a custom editor, you can create any recoil pattern in any direction at any speed and the relaxation system will return the sight to the starting point after firing. With the help of special modifiers, you can change the recoil strength during the game, for example when the character is sitting or running or crouching or prone or anything that will increase or decrease the strength of recoil, you can change that in game as well. So this features a custom recoil pattern asset, a custom editor, component based recoil implementation, relaxation implementation, recoil modifiers to change the recoil pattern in runtime, and the code modules are Recall Pattern and Recall Pattern Editor. This has 18 C++ classes and it is network replicated as well. So again, I think this looks absolutely amazing. If you're creating a shooter, this is definitely a must have as Recall is obviously a massive part of shooters and this does it perfectly. It's obviously done in C++ so it's going to be very efficient. It is network replicated so you can use it in online games as well. And the custom editor which they have looks absolutely amazing, it's very straightforward and looks perfect for what it is. It allows you to just very easily create the recall pattern, so you can create where the recall is going to go each time, as obviously that is something which you need in the game, or you should have, so the player can then predict where it's going to be, so they can learn to control it. Obviously if you've played a shooter, you know what I'm going on about. But this allows you to create any pattern that you want, whether it's going up and down, whether it's going left to right, whether it's going in a circle, whether it's a straight line, a curved line, zigzag line, whatever it is, you can create it. So once again, I think this looks absolutely amazing and is 50% off. 
And finally, last but not least, we have Lush Stylized Environment Set, which is also 50% off. So the Lush Stylized Environment Set consists of 50 stylized and optimized meshes that are suitable for creating beautiful environments. This pack also comes with a 6 layer landscape auto material and a simple stylized water actor that's easy to use and customize. So this asset pack contains 3 rocks, 1 long rock mesh, 2 medium trees, 2 swamp trees and 1 large tree. There's 8 palm trees, 4 banana trees, 8 flower clumps, 4 medium bushes, 1 large bush, 2 taro plants, 4 ground ivy meshes, 2 stone sets and 4 individual stones, 2 types of grass, 1 lily pad, 2 water components, 3 extra leaf mass textures, 1 extra acoustic texture, 1 extra sand texture set, 2 extra bark te texture sets, 1 light for post processing and 1 demo level. So that was quite a long list so sorry about that there but as you can see there's a lot in this pack. So this features a simple stylized water component, a landscape material with 6 layers, those are auto, grass, cliff, sand, riverbed and mud and a customization via material instances as well. In total there's 51 unique meshes, all of which have custom collisions and a vertex count from 4 up to 10,256. And it does also have LODs on here as well for the rocks, stones, trees, plants, flowers and grass. There's 12 materials, 33 material instances, 5 material layers and 1 material function and 83 textures ranging from 512 1k and 2k. So once again I think this looks absolutely amazing if this is the style you want to go with in your game and you want to create it in this kind of environment so this kind of tropical environment you could say I think this is a perfect must have for you and your game. It's 50% off at the moment and looks absolutely fantastic. So I think that'll be it for this video of me covering the Black Friday sale of 2022, the biggest sale on the Unreal Engine Marketplace of the year, where you can save up to 70% off on over 15,000 different products from now until Wednesday the 30th of November 2022. So if you also have any other suggestions of what people should buy, make sure to put them in the comments down below as I'd love to see them as I've obviously not been able to get through all 15,000 different products. So these are just the top 10 which I've seen. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just covering these different assets, giving my opinion and showcasing them and obviously there will be links in the description down below. And if you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.